This video will show how to create a maintenance video to replace a blade on a miter saw using SolidWorks Composer. With the model open in SolidWorks Composer, switch to the animation view by clicking the button in the upper left of the window. Make sure to save the file as a .smg proj file. Adjust the view to show the entire miter saw. In the timeline, click the icon to set the camera key for the opening of the animation. Move the time bar to a new time and zoom in on the area around the blade. Set a new camera key at this location. During that time, the camera will zoom in to that view. A text box can be inserted by going under the Author tab and selecting Text 2D. This text box can specify the tools required for this project. The size of the text can be changed by sliding the size bar in the Properties window. The time bar can be advanced and with the text box selected, fade out can be chosen from the effects drop down. The first step is to find the screw that needs to be removed first. To show which tool is required to remove the screw, a Phillips head screwdriver can be inserted. To insert the screwdriver, you need to open the model of the tool in SOLIDWORKS Composer. Then save this as a .smg XML file. Return to the miter saw project. Right click miter saw in the assembly tab and select product and then add products. Browse the location of the screwdriver that was just saved. This will insert the model into the project. To align the screwdriver in the screw, go under transform and then select align. Select the option plane to plane. Choose the bottom square of the screwdriver and the square feature in the screw. The rotate tool might be needed to align the screwdriver more. Select both the screwdriver and the screw and click the set location key tab. Move the time bar forward a couple seconds. With the screwdriver and the screw still selected, use the translate tool to move both of them out of the assembly. Once there, select the rotate tool and then rotate the screwdriver counterclockwise a number of rotations. When played, this will simulate the screwdriver rotating to remove the screw. The camera view can also be changed at this time. Move the time bar again, and then with the screwdriver, the screw, and the washer selected, click Fade Out under Effects in the timeline. This will hide them to simulate that they have been removed. This process can be repeated to remove and then replace all the parts in order to change the blade. At this point, the animation can be saved as an AVI file by going under Workshop and selecting Video. Click the Save As button and choose the file location. Another option is to make your video interactive so that a person could follow along with the video much easier as opposed to having to keep watching the video over again. This interactive animation can be played and controlled as long as SolidWorks Composer Player is used. To do this, add markers by first making sure that the box next to markers is checked under the Windows tab. Go to the location of where the beginning of the first step is being shown. Click the new marker icon in the left of the window or just click on the space right above the timeline to add a marker and then rename it to say step 1. Insert markers for all the steps in the video. Now go back to the very beginning of the video. To insert the controls to change steps, go under the Authors tab, then select the drop down under Image 2D and select All Buttons. Place this within the animation. These buttons can be tested by unselecting the Design Mode button at the bottom of the screen. Using these buttons will allow the user to go between each of the markers within the animation. At each marker, the video will stop until another button is pressed. This allows the user to follow along with the video. Save it as a .smg file. This can then be played using SOLIDWORKS Composer Player. I hope that this will help you in creating your own animations using SOLIDWORKS Composer.